Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Huh? Oh, uh, I don't know how to respond, but I know how to how to say. Smoke. Uh, Al Noor. Okay. Cool. It comes by practice, right? Cool. You guys are gonna teach me Arabic by the time you know we're all in heaven. I'll be talking to you guys in Arabic over there. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys to a verse in Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15. It's the first example ever given in the Bible about a Savior who would come in the future. The first example ever given in the whole Bible is in Genesis, chapter 3, verses, or verse 15. It was after Adam and Eve had sinned, had fallen into temptation. The verse says, He's, and, and God is speaking to Satan. He's speaking to the serpent. He says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel. This is the first example that we see that in the coming future, there would be someone who would crush Satan. There would be someone who would crush him with his foot. Satan... Satan's head would bruise the heel of whoever the seed is from the woman. And that person who was the seed of the woman would bruise Satan's head with his heel. So who is the seed of the woman? Luke chapter 4 verse 43. Or no, no, no. Luke 3 verse 38 talks about the genealogy of Jesus. And there's a long genealogy, but we're just going to look at that last part where it says, The son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. This was the seed of Adam and Eve. As it says here, that there would be enmity between the woman, Eve, and the serpent. And there would be enmity, which is strife, another word. Enmity between that woman's seed and the seed of Satan. The seed of Satan is the only thing that Satan can produce, which is what? What is the only thing that Satan can produce? Remember John 10.10? 10? The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. The only thing Satan can produce is sin. And this verse is telling us from the very beginning that a person would come and crush sin with his foot. That Jesus would come and crush sin personally with his own foot, that God would send a seed, a seed of a woman, a seed from a virgin, no less, a seed from the Virgin Mary to prove that he was indeed the Son of God. So he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, continues to give us this verse, a prediction of the future, as we can see. Genesis was written between 4,000 and 4,500 B.C. So there was a long time before Christ would come and do this. Roughly 4,000 to 4,500 years. Imagine that. Waiting on a promise for that long. For redemption, they would be waiting a long time. They would never see that promise. But their nation, their sons and daughters, the Hebrews, the Israelites, the Gentiles would come to see this promise. And the promise is the woman's seed, Jesus Christ. And that he would bruise him on the head. Satan. He would show us this promise. The promise of salvation, the promise of redemption was given to us from the very beginning. I was surprised when I found this out, that there was a promise this far early in the Bible, speaking about Jesus. Imagine the look and, and, and the reaction they would have got. Imagine Satan's reaction that someone would come and crush him. Someone would come and bruise him. 
But where exactly did he bruise him? Where exactly did he hurt him? He hurt him on the cross. On the cross is where he destroyed sin. Where sin will no longer have its hold on us because of what the Lord Jesus Christ did. Let me find myself here. So Jesus Christ came to destroy sin on the cross. And it tells us in the verse, if you read it and analyze it on a basis of literature, on the basis of scripture, that someone will come. It doesn't specify when, but someone will come and destroy that seed. Check out 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. The purpose of God. There were two purposes of God in Jesus Christ. The first was to preach the kingdom of God. That's given in Luke 4.43. But I want to focus on the next one. It was to destroy the works of the devil. And it says in 1 John 3.8, The one who practices sin is of the devil, for from the beginning he has sinned. For from the beginning he has sinned. The Son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. He destroyed the works of the devil 2,000 years ago. Well, 1980 something years ago, about. But that's the point. The first purpose was he came to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to everybody. But the second purpose was to destroy the works of Satan and to give everlasting life to those who believe in him through his body and through his blood. So are you guys prepared to take the body and the blood symbolically of the Lord Jesus? <clears throat> I want to take a moment of time just for everybody to ponder to come to the Lord and just bring everything that's on their heart to them and to come clean with the Lord so that we can come before the, His table in a worthy manner. Amen.